The hooves of the adax are splayed and have flat, springy soles, one of the adaptations that help it walk over sand. This beautiful antelope, also called the skirhorn or white antelope, once ranged over the Sahara Desert. Now it is on the edge of extinction due to poaching, climate change, overhunting, and habitat destruction. Fortunately, efforts are being made to return its wild population to healthy numbers. Read on for more facts about the adax. The adax is noted for the beautiful color of its coat, and especially its spiral horns. Males are a little bigger than females, and stand about 41 to 45 inches at the shoulder compared to females, who stand 37 to 43 inches at the shoulder. Males are also heavier, and weigh between 220 and 276 pounds, while females weigh between 130 and 200 pounds. The animal's sense of smell and peripheral vision is excellent, two adaptations that help them follow the reins. The coat of the adex changes with the seasons. It is mostly gray-brown in winter with white legs and rump. The coat turns almost entirely white or blonde in the summer. There is a tuft of brown hair on the head between the horns, and this flows down into a mane. There are patches on the nose that make an X shape on the face. The animal also has a beard, notably red nostrils, and a short tail that ends in a black tassel. The adax's legs are short, and though the legs and feet are built for endurance, they are not built for speed. To onlookers, it seems as if the animal's knees hardly bend as it moves. This makes it easy prey for predators such as lions, hyenas, and humans. The horns can be as long as 33 inches, though the longest horns were 43 inches in length. The horns have 30 to 35 ridges in the center and the bottom. Males use their horns to spar with other males over females. Adex lives in herds, which some biologists claim are headed by the alpha male, while others claim are headed by the alpha female. They do know that females sort themselves into a hierarchy, with the oldest females being dominant. The males establish territories and guard the females within them. Though herds used to be large, nowadays they are made up of 5 to 20 individuals. Adex herds travel long distances to find vegetation, following the rains. Interestingly, Adex is largely nocturnal, as the cooler night temperatures make it easier for them to move around. In the heat of the day, they excavate depressions in the shade and lie down in them. Their light-colored coats also reflect the heat and keep them cool. The adax is a creature of the desert, but it also migrates to savannas and grasslands. Unfortunately, it has been extirpated from the areas where it used to range freely such as Egypt, Mauritania, and Western Sahara. The white antelope eats grasses, including tussocks, Wiragris and the seeds of panic grass. It will eat the leaves of small trees and shrubs if the grass is unavailable. These plant foods give the animal enough water so that it doesn't have to drink. Predators and threats. Because they can't outrun their predators, Adex has always been subject to predation by carnivores such as leopards, hyenas, and cheetahs. Even if they could run fast, they were never a match for the humans who valued their meat and their hides or simply wanted to put their heads with their magnificent horns on their walls. Because of this, the antelope's population has been shrinking since the middle of the 19th century, and it is now critically endangered. However, there are thousands of ad and zoos and private menageries, and conservation strategies have been adopted in several countries, including Algeria and Morocco. Adex also tends to harbor parasites when conditions are moist. The most common parasite of the antelope tends to be types of nematodes. The female Adex is ready to breed when she's about one and a half years old, and the male is ready when he's about three. Since males guard females in their territory, the dominant male mates with the fertile females in his herd. Though Adex can breed throughout the year, they mostly do so in the earliest spring or late winter. The female gives birth to one calf after a pregnancy that's a little less than nine months. Calves weigh about 11 pounds at birth and are weaned when they are about seven months old. The female goes back into estrus just a couple of days after giving birth. The lifespan of the white antelope is about 19 years in the wild, but another six years or so can be added to the lifespan of the animal if it is well cared for in captivity. 
There are probably 500 or fewer of these antelopes remaining in the wild, though there are probably thousands in zoos or private menageries. Breeding programs have been established to help the wild populations, and Adax has been reintroduced into regions where they were once abundant such as Tunisia's Balhedman National Park and the Grand Derg Oriental in the Sahara Desert.